What's going on guys? Uh, last time you guys saw me, I was probably doing something dumb with Peric in Texas. And then I went down to Houston for the, the convention, of course. I didn't do any filming there. I didn't, I didn't really feel the need to. But today, I'm actually in Florida. I flew from the convention to Florida. And uh, I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Mikey Balls. Yo, yo. Mikey Balls Fishing. And uh, we're here, we're, we're out in Florida. Like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna fish a different lake today and then another lake tomorrow. And uh, just kind of big lake tomorrow, the big O, the big O, the Okeechobee, the the lake that I've wanted to fish since I was a small child, uh, kind of like Perry, a little small child. And uh, but today we're fishing, we're fishing a different lake, and we're gonna see. This is gonna be a different today for sure. Is gonna be a different style of fishing than what you're used to. This is like deeper fishing off of like what did you say, shell bars? Is that's a thing? Yeah, see something in Florida, something called shell bars. <laughs> see in Nebraska we don't have shell bars. We have corn and ponds. That's about it. So shell bars, what'd you say? Corn piles. Corn piles, yeah. So uh, yeah, shell bars and ledges and just a little bit deeper stuff, brush, that type of stuff. We're going after biggins today and tomorrow. It's kind of kind of the goal in this whole trip is to see if we can catch some uh, some true Nebraska broods, none of these old dinkers. So we're gonna see if we can make some magic happen. Hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, so my first lure of choice is actually a lure I haven't thrown since my senior year of high school, fishing the high school national championship on Kentucky Lake. That is a Nico rig. It's just basically a different way to rig a Sanko, a stick bait of some kind, and uh, it's a good bait for a lot of time. You're saying when it's when it's not windy, right? It's just kind of more of a finesse finesse approach versus throwing like a big jig or something. Yeah, I mean you can catch them when it's windy, but like like on flat days. Yeah. Tough, yeah. So like you guys can see, obviously it's not windy at all. And so that's kind of why I'm starting out with this. But we're going to be throwing these and jigs and uh, like wobble head type baits. Just kind of baits that you kind of drag on ledges, you know, Texas rig type, just stuff like that. But I'm going to start off with this just because it's more subtle and there's absolutely no wind. And anytime there's no wind, you usually want to go on a more natural approach. That's usually how you catch your fish. Hooked up? Hooked up. First one, baby. Oh, here we go. This is why we. This is why I came to Florida. <laughs> Magnums. Magnums, dude. Magnum Florida bass. All right. Well, we got the skunk out of the boat. I mean, that's that's the important part. Size, not all that important on the first one. There we go. I checked him. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. a little bit better one. Come here, buddy. I had to check them twice. I was so confused that there was a fish. <laughs> uh, nice. There we go. That's, that's a solid start, man. That's my first fish. It's not bad. Not a bad fish at all. There we go. First, uh, you can give it kisses. There you go. See you, buddy. Well, I caught that on... Well, you can't really tell now. It's not the same bait. But it's it was a craw, a craw bait on just kind of like a little... Mega daddy. little wobble head. Yeah, a little mega daddy action. Kind of mixing it up, Nico rigging and wobbleheading and all that fun stuff. But that's good. That's that's my first fish so far. We're looking to we're looking to catch. I don't know today. Today my goal. I'm gonna set it kind of high. Right. We're gonna we're gonna go for an eight. We're going for an eight. We're going for an eight. If we can catch an eight pounder, I mean I'm gonna be happy regardless. But an eight pounder would just and actually an eight hey, six five. Like eight or twenty pounds. Or eight or twenty, 20 pounds. pounds. Okay. So like kind of like a nice solid bag. Okay. Like All right. A twenty pound bag or an eight pounder, and preferably eight six five because my PB is eight six four. That would be pretty much ideal. But that's that's the bait that I'm throwing right now. We're just like I said, we're throwing. This is stuff you you've seen me do this, but it's been a long time ago. You guys seen me throw stuff like this, just dragging it, dragging it, dragging it across basically submerged underwater junk. Old man style fishing. Oh, we're hooked. We're hooked up. That might be a good one. You think so? I think so. It's coming up. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a better one. Oh, like that. look at that. Look at that. They're like smallmouth. They're just like... They really tear it. They just freak out. Oh, baby! <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. All right. All right, Look at that fish. How fat that joker God, is. that's a fat Isn't fish. Crazy? That's a but good that's one. That's why they can pull like that, man, because they're yeah. fat and they're stubby. And... God dang. All right, well, here we go. That's the first, that's the first brood of the day. You want to go ahead and put her back? Yeah, go for it. What do you think that one weighs? It's probably five. So say it looks five looks about right at five pounds. That's get, God, look how they, fat they that's are. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like it's really deceiving. It's like, insane. Th that's probably like a four pound length. Yeah. But it's like five, five yeah. and a quarter just because of how gutty it is. Well, we're uh we're starting to put put together a little little pattern action here. That was Nico rigging. That was Nico rigging. Nico rigging. Alright, well I caught one on a wobble head. He's caught two on a Nico. So we're gonna see if he catches another big one on a Nico. I might have to may have to make a switch. I've got confidence on this wobble head though. I've caught I've caught plenty of fish on wobble heads before, but that's good. That's a five pounder. I mean, if that was Nebraska, I'd probably like get my face and picture in the newspaper. And so this is this is already already a good trip. You got another one? Oh, oh dude! Oh gosh! If that's a fish, oh, that's a freaking monster! Oh golly! All right, here we go. What do we got? Is it a tree pounder? A tree pounder? Yeah, is it a tree pounder? Uh, that creative. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's nice. what they're hanging out in. That's why we're uh, catching fish right here. Found a little bit of brush action. Which we're gonna put back. Always release the brush. <laughs> nice and easy. Some of you guys hate on the way I release bass, but you should see how I release some brush. I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty good at it. Oh yeah, I want that wood, dude. That wood. I wanna catch a big piece of wood now. Oh, my, right. my PB brush pile, is that what's going on? There's a fish. That's the first cast I had with the Nika rig on this new spot. And of course, brutes of Nebraska. Here we go. So you got Mikey Balls up front catching five pounders. Well, one. Singular. Six. Okay. Singular. A five pounder. Five pounder. <laughs> A five pounder. And then this little dude decided to munch it. There's one. A little, oh, yeah. little better. There we go. Three. Uh, that's what we're talking. <laughs> Look at him just <laughs> zipping, zipping right at the boat. God, these things like to fight. There we go. Keep him down there so he doesn't throw the, throw the old worm here. That's better. We're we're upgrading. We just had to kind of start small. There we go. I think that's like my fourth, fourth fish or so. Definitely not a, not a massive one. All right, so we move spots. This is, I'm probably, you're probably gonna hear this a trillion times today. Hey, we just moved spots. Well, we're moving, we're basically just hopping around from brush pile to brush pots, from shell bar to shell, is it called shell bars? Shell bars. Shell bars, okay, okay. shell bar to shell bar, and ledge to ledge. I'm sticking with the Nico rig for now. Kind of got a little bit of confidence built up in this bad boy. I mean, mainly just because Mike got a five pounder, but I've got a little bit of confidence in this thing. You caught a five, Kentucky Lake. Kentucky Lake, I did. I did, you're right. National Championship High School, the glory days, 2015, I think. I've got a video, if you guys wanna see it, I'll link it down below, caught a five pounder. Me looking all cool in my tournament jersey and whatnot. I was a stud, so you guys, should go, you guys should go check that video out, that was pretty cool. Oh! Oh, golly. Dude, that's a freaking monster. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this in and get the net, cause He's got a toad, like an absolute massive fish. You got me so nervous right now. I'm thinking dude, this I'm thing's shaking. Don't are you sh are you shaking? Yeah, you need to like give me confidence. Okay, you got this, dude. Here. You got this. This there is nothing. Go. This is this is probably a ten, but is you got this, know. dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. holy crap! You see it, dude? It, I thought you hooked a, a like a, a massive catfish or something. Well, it might be a catfish. Oh god, no! It's a bass. It's a bass. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, she's not, yeah, she's not uh, ready. She's about done. Right. Oh my god! Are you serious? Uh, Look at uh, <laughs> he, he could eat the camera. Dude, he could, I could literally fit the GoPro in that fish. Dude, I think it might have hit eight. I know it's not yours. I think it is, I think it is an eight. Look at that fish! I would be screaming like the. Oh my god! That's just like that's like it's a wall head, like freaking. It's gotta be the hat, dude. Well, the, well of course. <laughs> it's gotta be that hat. Dude, that's just like, oh my god! The cool. Old I can't dude. believe that. So, you said the hook, and it was like literally like you hooked dude, a, a wall. It was like when we hooked the brush over there. Yeah. But dude, it's just like a little little swim bait on a yeah, swing head. Easy swimmer and freaking the swing head. 
don't even know what to say. And where are you moving to? Yeah, why did I go to Texas? I mean, Texas got big fish, but dang, son. What do we got? That's 812. 813? 813. Dude, you see, though, like the, like the back? Yeah, the, I mean, she's like just got shoulders. Dude, it's like they go down there and they freaking, they, they lift, you know? Like, they lift, they get swole. Oh. They're the swole fishermen. And we need you to catch a giant. I need to catch a toad. That's, All right. we gotta catch, we gotta catch a big one. So for those of you that don't know what a Nico rig is, you can look it up. Uh, there's there's a lot <laughs> so that's all all right guys let's go back to fishing no I'll, I'll show you kind of what it looks like though basically this little this little weight is a nail weight like you can buy these or just like use regular nails and then this is just like a stick bait this is a fat ace and then they use just a regular just like a straight straight shank hook like that it's kind of like a just a warm hook and you just rig it like this and what it does is it, it'll stand up kind of like this and then kind of walk its way sideways like that i don't know like it's it's one of those techniques that i haven't used a ton but obviously it can catch some catch some nice fish it's it's something that like just right in the same category of drop shots and shaky heads just finesse but this is like a little bit bigger bait it's not such like a little little bit of a small small presentation so you can catch you have a chance at catching a little bit bigger fish this way dude they're not they're just right all the way up here Ooh, you got a little bit, little bit, a yeah. little better one. Oh, yeah. There we go. I was just bringing him in like a little baby. <laughs> He's not bad. Come here, bud. Not a giant, but, but another, another chunky, chunky bass. Something a little bit better. Nothing, again, no eight pounders, but they're uh, they're getting they're getting a little better. You get kisses. Well, some somebody right. caught an eight Somebody. Pounder. Someone did. Someone caught an eight and a five, and I haven't even probably broken three today. Feels a little better. Finally, I was going over like shell after shell after shell, and then all of a sudden it was just slack, and I knew he came towards me. Look at these fish just fighting like crazy. What'd you say, Florida smallies? Is that what these are? Smallies, Look at, like it's it's unreal. Like I've never seen largemouth do this. They're boat haters, dude. They see that boat and they just freak out. Yeah, there we go. It's a little better. Finally, I caught something uh, worth coming to Florida for, huh? Thunk dingle. All right, that's a new one. Thunk dingle. See, you, buddy. Yep. Oh, biggin, biggin, biggin. Oh my God, it's huge. Oh my God, it's huge. It's huge, it's huge. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. It's a freaking beast. Oh, oh, I can't. Oh God, stay down, please stay down, please stay down. My heart is a thousand miles an hour right now, dude. Use your drag, use your drag. Mr. Oh my God, it's huge. Stay down, please, for the love of God, stay down. But dude, I don't like, I'm panicking. I'm like, well, why do these fish have to do this? Why can't they just come in nice and easy and just not give me a heart attack? Are you ready? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. All right. Dude, Florida. Flo no, why? Why? Why you gotta do this? Why can't you just come up? Why? Nice and easy, girl. Nice and easy, girl. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness. Mr. Well, that's a that's an all right fish there, son. <laughs> Sir, I think you caught a nice fish. Well, I guess there's no question we're in the twenty now. Look, look at, 20, 20. dude, just it wasn't even it didn't even go through. It's literally just barely skin hooked. So you're the luckiest flare ever. <laughs> How did that not come off when they was jumping? Yeah, you kept good pressure on it. Dude, did oh my goodness. Let, let's get a little pain. Oh my God, you guys. All right, well, we'll toss her in the well real quick. And we'll get a weight. I don't think it, it broke the old PBU, but I'd say that's a pretty nice fish if you ask me. 
614. <laughs> Almost a seven. Almost a seven. Six pounds, 14 ounces. Right there. All right, this is uh, this is Lucille. Lucille decided to eat the old uh, the old wobblehead Mega Daddy combo. We're gonna get a quick release here. There she goes, folks. Finally, after three hours, literally three hours of nothing, Mikey caught a fish, and then that fish decided to to munch it. So that's good. That's brings you. It's like you get down in the middle of the day and you're not catching anything. You get kind of sad, and then all of a sudden that happens, and I'm back and happy. Two hours later. All right, folks. So we are ending the day with Mikey balls. We uh, were off the water. It was really hot, really hot. And after I caught that big one, I was like, "Yeah, you know what? We should probably go in before I get skin cancer because I didn't put any, <laughs> I didn't put any sunblock on and get a heat stroke." So we're back. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing us catch some big fish. Caught an eight, and what was that what was it, eight? Almost a nine, and I caught, and I caught almost a seven. It was pretty dang close to a seven. But tomorrow we're going to Okeechobee. Okeechobee's a lake that I've wanted to go to since I was a very small child, very small kind of like parrot. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. I was gonna show you what we got rigged up, but first, this, this little MacGyver rig here, the the old Nico rig, that's what caught the big one. In case you guys were wondering. Eight thirteen. Yeah, big one. Eight pounds, 13 ounces, big one. And then I caught mine on the wrecking ball wobble head with a little mega daddy. It's just basically a craw bait that's on the back of it. Almost seven. Almost so seven. It, like it, 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 I, I, I'm gonna call it a seven just to piss yeah. all you guys off that are watching because I know it really pisses you off and I'm like, yeah, that was a seven pounder. Dude, it was six pounds, 14 ounces. What we're throwing tomorrow, that is a punching flipping rig, just a regular Texas rig, chatter bait. And then that is gonna have a swim bait on it like a like a big soft swim bait that's what we're gonna be throwing on choby tomorrow could end up mixing it up and doing something completely different but our plan is to basically throw moving baits and uh if we need to or if we really want to and i kind of really want to is punch some mats and see if we can catch a fish that time it's not that time of the year to catch them that way but you know what i'll give it a shot so i want to end the video quit talking hopefully like i said hope you guys enjoyed make sure you go check out his channel he's got a lot bigger fish no flare fish no flare fish there's, can be found. There's some flare fish. There's some there. flare fish. I, I don't know how many flare fish you can find on his channel. He catches some big fish, but it'll be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and peace.